Yo, what's up? It's Josh. Welcome to the channel. What's up, Hyper Poppers? How are we doing today? Some of my subscribers were asking me to do a remake of the song Mental Anguish by Glaive. And as the kind hearted guy that I am, I decided to deliver. The first thing we're going to talk about is the guitar. As you can see, I have a lot of guitar layers and I'm just going to go one by one showing you what each is doing. As far as the processing goes, just generic GTR amp, the quiet bright setting, the others I think is just on the default. And I was finding that the guitar didn't have enough body in some of those low mid frequencies. So I just did a little boost right there. After that, I moved on to the vocals. And here's where it gets fun. Standing next to you, I feel better than I ever did before. Ooh, oh, oh. Still hope it don't go back to how it was before, how it was before. Here's a little bit of the processing. Some auto tune here, set to low male. We got D major, no foreman or anything going on, just retune speed set to 12, no humanization. Got this little utility plugin because the input game was a little low. After the CLA vocals, a little EQ, just boosting some of the highs, taking out some of the lows. Then we got a little OTT, just tightening it up. Then we got fresh air, which is such a dope plugin if you don't have it. Just really kind of makes your vocals really crispy and just really increasing those mid and high frequencies. After that, a little bit of DSing with this Fab Filter Pro DSer. Next thing I did was get into the drop first part of the drop we got are the vocals because i was really in mental anguish now you're speaking my language now you're acting all passive treating me like i'm bad a lot of that's just the same processing. It's really just the layers that make it like that. The only thing I added different was saturator, kind of beefing it up a little bit, and then a gate just to cut out any of that unnecessary noise. As you can see, I also went through in here, just cleaned them up because there was a lot of noise in these little spaces and I didn't want that. And so I went through and cut those out just so I could get a cleaner vocal sound. As far as reverb and delay, got just a little room. Kind of wanted the vocal to be in a separate space. I didn't really want like a plate or a big hall or anything. So I just with this FG16X Room by Slate Digital Verb Suite Classics. We got just a basic eighth note delay that's filtered, and then I added a little bit more reverb just to, you know, make it gel in the mix a little bit better. Then I added this little convolution reverb in the plugin Isotope Trash. Kind of just adds like a weird kind of like spacey effect. I like to do that on vocals and other instruments just to kind of give them weird texture. Once we did that, we got some of these little mid-range kind of chords going on. Those kind of sound like shit, but in the context of the mix, they're really just serving that purpose. This is just a serum patch I made, just really detuned saw waves, little multiband compression, EQ, saturation, distorting the living shit out of them with this temper plugin or EQ. But the real movement happens with this utility plugin. I did a lot of gain automation because that's what's happening in the song. Also automated this auto pan plugin to get that little pumping kind of thing. Also added Saturn or compression and saturation, a little RC20, once again, just distorting it. I was just really trying to make it as dirty as possible. Then we got the bass, just another serum patch. It's all wave, down three octaves, four voices of unison, distorted. Use this Cymatics Diablo plugin to kind of beef it up a little bit, really clipping it heavily, just like getting really distorted. A little EQ and then adding this plugin called Erosion. Kind of just giving it more like buzziness in the top end. So as you can also hear, we got the drums. That's really just sound selection. Got this mallet kick and that's from this 100 Gex pack over here. Then it also just layered it with a little vinyl kick. The kick in the track sounded like it had an acoustic layer over it or some sort of texture. So I just layered it with that. And then as far as the snares go, we're layering this. TU snare, kind of classic hyper pop, kind of trappy snare. There's also in the 100 Gex pack with this Umaru snare. That's really adding a lot of like the pop and beef to the sound. And then another 100 Gex snare, all these together, they create this. We also got just a little, little symbol on the one. Then a couple of these little layers, I noticed in the recording that it had like a little girl kind of laugh or something, I don't know. So I added that yeah. little peach type sound. Yeah. Yeah. Other little textural things we have are this <laughs> kind of people laughing and then a little kick stomp that I reversed. What that originally was, was just a stomp. If you're in Ableton, just hit R and reverse it. 
Yeah. As far as the master goes, we got a little glue compressor, just doing some soft clipping. Little Saturn, turn the mix down to like 24. This 456 demo MDB preset. And we got the Fab Filter Pro L2 default setting, you know, just limiting it a couple dB. And then we got Ozone doing a little bit more limiting, no EQ, and then just the imaging, widening out the highs and mids a little bit, and then making the bass more mono. And this is what it sounds like all together. Standing next to you, I feel better than I ever did before. Ooh, oh, oh. Still hope it don't go back to how it was before, how it was before. Cause I was really in mental anguish. Now you speak in my language. Now you're acting all passive. Treating me like I'm baggish. Mental anguish. Now you speak in my language. And that, my friends, is how Glaive Song Mental Anguish was made. Appreciate you guys. Hope you all enjoyed the video. If there are any other topics that you want to see me cover, make sure to let me know in the comments. Also, hit the subscribe button and the like button. Boys, really trying to get to a thousand subs by the end of the year. Anyway, y'all keep vibing. Have an amazing rest of y'all's week, and I'll see y'all next time. Love you.